All right, here we are. I looked down at my mute button and it was on, so I'd been talking for about three minutes without sound. So here we are again, we're gonna take two on this one. This is Dr. Robin McKay and I am here in the actualization zone on Facebook, which is my group for intuitive intelligent people. And this is your weekly energy report. For those of you who are new, I'd love to say hello to you. So say hi in the comments, let me know where you are right now, where in the world are you right now? And if you're watching the recording, do the same thing. I always come back in and say hi back to you. Um, and the way this, these sessions work is that I tune into the non-physical energies, the things that are kind of going, around, uh, uh, going on non-physically in the universe, the energetic influences, the guidance that we have available to us, the things that we can harness, the things that we need to pay attention to. As we go through our week, we are in the last month of 2022. And there's, let me just tell you a lot going on. And I will get to that in a couple minutes. But before we do, I have a couple of announcements I want to share with you invitations, really, I am in the middle of doing forecasting sessions, 90 minute intensives with spiritual entrepreneurs on their businesses, and also with CEOs and leaders on their careers. So I have, it's something for everybody, basically, because you guys who are in my sphere are intuitive and intelligent. You may be having your own business as a spiritual entrepreneur, or you may be on the corporate track. Either way is just fine. But what binds you together is your, your intuition, your intelligence, and your desire to lean more into what's possible for you in your life and create a world for yourself and for other people who you love. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, those 90-minute forecasting sessions, I'm also, along with that, this week offering a full month of Boxer coaching to stabilize the energies, to provide ongoing course corrections, encouragements as you implement the things that come through in the sessions. If you're a spiritual entrepreneur and you've got your own business, this is the buying season. And it is so, December is actually one of my favorite times of year, actually, for, for sales and marketing, just because everybody's making decisions about what's next and everyone is reflecting on what's going on in their lives and they, what they want to create next. So it's a perfect time to really get your business engaged in, in, this, in this buying cycle for the holiday season. And what I find is that when you're in a container, and you are focused on marketing and offering your services to aligned clients and to calling in aligned opportunities, things go really well. So um, if that's something that is of interest to you, I want you to DM me and let me know that you'd like to explore working with me in that forecasting session. Those are usually, I think around $5,500 to work in a, in a program or in a container like that. And right now we've got them priced at $19.97. So uh, about 60% off the, the typical price of something like that. Um, but these are some of my favorite things to do. The forecasting, looking at your brand essence, looking at what you're marketing, who you're marketing to, making sure that you're energetically aligned with your soulmate clients and um, looking at pricing, looking at programs, and really getting all of those things dialed in for this buying season, but also for the first quarter of 2023 as well. So I'm looking forward to those of you who are going to be snapping up those forecasting sessions. It's a really powerful way to end the year off strong and start 2023 off with a bang. So looking forward to that. The link to register is in the comments. And um, if you have any questions on that, you can DM me. Now on with the show. Um, all right. So here's the deal. The energies this week are very, I, I've actually been looking at the actual weather that we've been experiencing here in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's cloudy. We've got a low hanging cloud cover that's kind of wafting across the mountains. It's quite beautiful actually, but it's also, we get like 360 days of sunshine a year or something like that. And when the clouds come in, it's pretty significant just in terms of how the, the energy and the moods of the people change as a result of the weather patterns. And maybe that's the case for you too. I know in a lot of the Northern hemisphere, you guys are in a deep freeze right now as well. 
So there's a lot of literally the weather can create some energetics for us physically. We can feel sedated. We can feel a little bit low energy, a little bit like we want to curl up and go back to sleep, take lots of naps. There's nothing wrong with taking naps. There's nothing wrong with snuggling into your bed a little bit longer in the mornings. But what I will say is that um, when that's the default, when that's the default, feeling sedated, feeling low motivation, feeling a little bit depressed, feeling like you, you know you're supposed to do something, but you can't quite get yourself to do something. That's really a signal that the body is receiving information from the, from the world that is meant to sedate it, meant to keep it quiet, meant to kind of just be still. And of course, in the winter time, that is a time often that we spend some time being still. If you think about it, where I grew up anyway, in South Dakota, it was cold all winter long, and there wasn't a lot going on. The trees all looked like they were dead. But even in the winter, we had winter sports. I skied when I was a kid, flying fast down the mountainside, the, the wind biting at my cheeks. Um, there's snowmobiling, there's ice skating, there's all kinds of things that you can do in the winter in spite of the cold. And that's what the message is this week, in spite of the weather, whether it's the literal weather or if it's the weather systems inside of you, um, your moods, your emotions, in spite of that, it's really time to start living again. It's time to, to come out of the cocoon. It's time to Pay attention to those inner callings, those heart's desires, not what you should do, not what the world is telling you to do or to not do, but what your heart really, truly desires. There are going to be some people who remain on the fence indefinitely, who wait it out indefinitely. And I know that you're not one of those people. If you were one of those people, you wouldn't be in my sphere anyway, but it can be tempting when everyone else is sitting on the fence or waiting to wait, wait and see what happens next, that kind of thing. Um, there are some people who are just never going to get off the fence. You're not one of them, neither am I. And the, that's one of the reasons that I think it's so important for us to light the fire, the internal fire again, to move forward even when the world seems still, to find a way to enjoy the winter, even if others are choosing to hunker down and to stay inside to go live your life, even if other people are choosing not to, are choosing to, one of my colleagues says this, she says, a lot of us have been existing for a long period of time since the pandemic started, stay home and just exist. And the, the sense that I'm getting now and what's coming in 2023 is very much those who are going to start leaning into the world again, those are, who are going to start living again, really living from their hearts, they're the ones who are going to be the difference makers. They're the ones who are going to move the needle on, on the innovations and the ideas and the books and the, the offers and, and all of the creativity that's available out there can be channeled through you when you decide to step back into life. So that's the big message this week is that even if you are feeling like you're sedated, even if you're feeling like you have low motivation, do something new. I said this the other day on my, on my Facebook page, be the glitch in the matrix. You know, I think that we get into these kind of lockstep ways of being in the world. On Monday, I do this. On Tuesday, I do that. On Wednesday, I do that and so on. And there is something to be said for routine, but when you become too routine, that's when creativity dries up. That's when the inspiration can't find you because you're just lockstepping in the routine that you've created. So if you want to get off the gerbil wheel, do something different. It could be something like reach out to me and grab one of those, those forecasting sessions. It could be come to the retreat. It could be go walk out in nature. Just do something to get the dopamine in your body flowing again. Do something to enliven yourself again this week. This is very important because you're not meant to be asleep. You're not meant to be sedated. You are meant to be alive and a life force, a life 
force and to allow the life force to flow through you, it's going to meet you in the field, but you got to get yourself in the field. So go do that this week. Let me know if you found this supportive, leave a comment. If there's somebody who you think would love to hear this information, please share it with them. And if you're on YouTube, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Let me know that you appreciated this. It really helps me be supportive of you as well. And I will be back in here. I'm going to try to do every day this week. I'm going to shake things up, shake the, I'm going to be the glitch in the matrix. Why don't you join me? Be the glitch in the matrix with me. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.